Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, sorry about the little bit of a wait in between videos, if you were even waiting. But, um, you know, last week it rained about every other day, so we didn't do a lot around the farm. Plus, uh, did some projects for the church, so uh, that's kind of what went on last week anyway. But, you no, know, today we're uh, ridging corn. I'll explain a little bit later uh, why and how we got here, basically. So, uh, but at the beginning of the video, Isaac, my nephew, uh, Tom's son, took video. They, them and their family went with their uh, relatives up to Wyoming, and they went took their ATVs out there to, uh, I don't know, just have fun. And it looked like they had fun anyway. So uh, that's who uh, was taking that video. I didn't go, but yeah, my brother Tom and their family did. So, but nope. Let's go back to the beginning to see uh, how we got started and how we got to this point. Taking the 4250 out. What I'm gonna do, it's got the old Diggleman dozer on it. I've had this dozer for as long as I can remember. But we're taking this rig out to go along the end of our gravity fields, uh, just to kind of uh, straighten out the rows that we, we lay the pipe out along, because sometimes you'll have little points. And but before we ridge it, we like to go out straighten them out make them look nice that way when you lay the pipe you got a straight line to basically lay it along instead of having a bunch of jagged edges so that's what I'm heading out to do right now Kind of make that line with this uh, field cultivator thing, and uh, yeah, that way this is nice and straight. Um, we usually do this before we uh, cultivate. That way it's smoother to turn around on the ends and whatnot, and then we can always come back and do it again before they lay out the pipe, especially on these point rows because you'll get the you'll pull clear out here with the cultivator. And uh, you'll still have ridges out here, so uh, when you lay out the pipe, it'll be really fun to go over those ridges. So I might take this thing back and go over it again. So uh, on my way back, I might try to straighten it out a little bit, just so it's nice. We'll go from there. For those of you wondering uh, if we ever if we have any terraces out here, you probably can't see them with the grass. It kind of levels them out, but there is terraces on this old hill here. Uh, that used to be a thing they did years and years ago, before way before my time and maybe even my dad's time, they had terraced it. They might have farmed, I'm not sure on this field, but they might have farmed kind of like they do in Iowa or eastern Nebraska between the terraces there. But um, we don't do it much anymore, especially with pivot irrigation. And, uh, you know, we usually don't have years like we have. This has kind of been an unprecedented uh, year as far as rain for our area. So yeah, we usually don't have that much tissue with water. It's usually the other way around. We we just um, try to actually conserve more water as we possibly can. But you can even see, even off these terraces here, it still would run water not very far. I don't know if you can see these grooves in the ground or not. That's what I'm here to do is kind of smooth out the roads again so when we come in here and cultivate it's not so rough. Plus, we get a nice pipeline established. This is kind of one of those fields that we had some washing on. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but on those slopes over there you can kind of see lighter spots. Well, that's where it got thinned out from uh, the rain just running down that hill. But. Um, it is thinner, but I mean, it's still got a stand out there, so I still think we did one of the right things by just leaving it instead of trying to fill in. Because at the time, we didn't know which spots would be good or bad or whatnot, so um, yeah, that was just the call we had to make, but um, I still think we did okay anyway on it. Do 
Joe Jackson. Now this pipeline here cuts out in the field. We just um, we don't worry about making the road on it till uh, we're good and ready to lay out. I'll start ridging and then laying out the pipe. So that's what we're doing here. that all unhooked I'm gonna clean this all out take off we'll probably take off this first and how you take off the generator is you loosen these bolts up here there's one on the other side it'll kind of allow this clamp that goes around kind of your drawbar area to slide up then you can just slide it off your PTO shaft in theory we all know how that works sometimes actually not doing too bad it doesn't quite maybe do what our Hawkins Ridger does 
But this field has a pretty nice slope to it. It doesn't need as much. Actually, this isn't looking too bad. The only problem you usually get if it's a little moist is setting these rows behind the tractor tires. So many farmers might know this, but especially the inside, you'll tend to get these slabbing. It's just moist. Um, sometimes you just gotta live with the balance of not slabbing too much versus still making kind of a ridge. Um, I might adjust this just a little bit, but yeah. No, it's definitely not doing a bad job. Water will flow through that fairly decently if we have to, I guess. Um, no, I'll do some tweaking and go from there. One thing nice about this job is you can really smell that dirt. Nothing quite smells like dirt. Can't explain it. I don't know if you noticed me on that footage there, but on the end that we lay the pipe out on, I kind of double do that end. And that way that ridge is nice and tall because when you open your gates and stuff you just you don't want to have to dig out any uh, rows and so if they're flat they'll tend to kind of run over into each other rows and so uh, plus it's a little bit harder there too so sometimes you don't get a good as as good of ridge so no I'm just making sure we got a good ridge right along that pipe sure helps without having to dig out rows and stuff so that's why I do that I lied. The reason why I do it is because my brother Tom uh, told me I had to and he'll throw a hissy fit if I don't do it. So if we're being honest with each other, that's why I do it. Just because the title says Family Farms doesn't mean we always love each other. So I'm not sure if I answered this question before, but um, the reason why we put these, why we ridge our corn is to, uh, over there you can see an irrigation well, it's white, tan over a well basically. We'll lay a pipe along that end, and then there's a little gate in that pipe, and we usually do every other row. Some people will do every row, it just depends on their situation, but um, those rows, these ridges will allow the rows to get all the way to the end, and to kind of have a more even um, way to basically uh, irrigate your field. That way you're just not flooding everything all over. You can actually kind of get a, a little more uniform uh, soak and um, basically uh, it's a better way to irrigate your field because you really wouldn't have any control if you just left it all flat out here. It would just kind of run wherever the lowest spot is. So that's why we ridge our fields. Hey guys, that's it for this video today. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe if you uh, want to keep watching these kinds of videos. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Later. Fresh cut alfalfa.